How often does a man, starting from humble roots, ascend to the helm of a nation and reshape its destiny? Today we delve into the life of Ney Wynne, a man who did just that. Born in a small town in British-ruled Burma, Ney Wynne's early life was far from extraordinary. The son of minor government officials, he grew up in a world where colonial rule was the norm. His journey from obscurity began when he joined the University of Rangoon, where he was exposed to the rising tide of Burmese nationalism. His path took a decisive turn when he enlisted in the Burmese military, a decision that would set the stage for his future in politics. Ne Win quickly climbed the ranks, displaying a keen strategic mind and a knack for leadership. His military career was marked by several key victories, each one bringing him closer to the political arena. One of his most notable military achievements was during the Second World War. Ne Win, leading a band of Burmese nationalists, fought alongside the Japanese against the British. However, as the tides of war turned, so did Ne Win's loyalties. In a bold move that showcased his political acumen, he switched sides and led his troops in support of the Allies. This strategic decision not only turned the tide of the war in Burma, but also elevated Ne Win's standing among his countrymen. Following the war, Ne Win's military career continued to flourish. He played a pivotal role in quelling rebellions and maintaining peace in a country grappling with post-war turmoil. His tactical brilliance and strong leadership skills earned him the respect of his troops and superiors alike. However, the military was not the end game for Ne Win. He had his sights set on the political landscape of Burma. His military achievements had already laid the groundwork for his entry into politics. The respect he had garnered, the support he had cultivated, and the reputation he had built all paved the way for his eventual rise to power. Thus, the stage was set for a military man to transform into a political leader. From the battlefield to the corridors of power, Nevin's journey was a testament to his strategic acumen and indomitable spirit. Nevin's rise to power was as dramatic as it was decisive. He first served as Prime Minister of Burma from 1958 to 1960, a position he occupied again from 1962 to 1974. But it was his coup d'etat in 1962 that truly marked the beginning of his reign. The Democratic Union Parliament under UNU was overthrown, setting the stage for the establishment of a one-party socialist state. This was a radical shift in Burma's political landscape, a change orchestrated by none other than Ne Win himself. He founded the Burma Socialist Programme Party, or BSPP, marking a new era in the country's history. His strategic brilliance was evident in his ability to consolidate power. He was not merely the founder of the BSPP, but its chairman, making him Burma's de facto leader. Official titles were part of his military government, but his supporters knew him simply as Une Win. The ideology that guided this new era was the Burmese way to socialism, an ideology that Ne Win himself championed. This was not socialism as the world knew it. It was a unique interpretation, tailored to the specific needs and circumstances of Burma. His reign was characterized by a non-aligned foreign policy and isolationism. The country was closed off from the rest of the world, a decision that brought both criticism and praise. Yet within the boundaries of Burma, Ne Win's influence was unquestionable. His rule was not without its challenges. Economic stagnation and superstition were part of the landscape, yet his grip on power remained firm. Ne Win's leadership was a force to be reckoned with, a force that would shape Burma for the next two decades. And so, under Ne Win's leadership, Burma embarked on a new path, the Burmese way to socialism. With a firm grip on power, Ne Win set about reshaping Burma. But what was the real impact of his rule? Ne Win, the military dictator of Burma, was a man of grand ambitions. He was the architect of the Burmese way to socialism, an ideology that sought to establish Burma as a one-party socialist state. To this end, he founded the Burma Socialist Program Party, through which he wielded his power and influence. Economically, Ne Win's policies were marked by a turn towards isolationism. He closed off Burma from the outside world, nationalizing all industries and implementing central planning. This move was supposed to boost self-sufficiency and independence, but it led to economic stagnation. 
The economy was trapped in a vicious cycle, with the government's control stifling innovation and discouraging foreign investment. Ne Win's rule was also characterized by a unique blend of socialism and superstition. He was known to make key decisions based on advice from astrologers and numerologists. This reliance on superstition often led to erratic and irrational policies. For instance, he once demonetized certain currency notes simply because their denominations were not in line with his lucky numbers. In the realm of foreign affairs, Ne Win followed a neutralist policy. During the Cold War, he kept his distance from both the United States and the Soviet Union, participating instead in the non-aligned movement. His relations with China were initially excellent, but took a hit due to Mao's covert support for the communist insurgency within Burma and anti-Chinese riots. However, by March 1971, relations were fully restored and Chinese economic aid continued. Nguyen's rule, with its emphasis on isolationism and economic stagnation, had a profound effect on Burma. His policies led to economic hardship, while his superstition-infused decision-making bred instability. Despite these challenges, his influence remained unchallenged for over two decades, a testament to his grip on power. Nguyen's rule, marked by isolation and stagnation, left a lasting imprint on the nation. All reigns must end, and for Ne Win, the end came in the wake of a popular uprising. The year was 1988. The people of Burma, tired of their freedoms being curtailed and their economies stagnating, rose up in what would come to be known as the 8,888 Uprising. Named for its commencement on the eighth day of the eighth month, 88 was a time of tumultuous change in Burma. Ne Win, the once indomitable leader, found himself at the heart of a storm he could no longer control. The people's discontent had reached its boiling point and they demanded change. The streets filled with protesters, their voices echoing the collective cry for democracy and justice. The world watched as the iron-fisted rule of Ne Win crumbled under the weight of the people's will. In response to this uprising, Ne Win did the unthinkable. He resigned. The man who had ruled Burma with an iron fist, the founder of the Burma Socialist Programme Party, the military dictator, stepped down. It was a moment that marked the beginning of the end of an era. But while he may have stepped down from his official position, Ne Win's influence did not disappear overnight. Throughout the 90s, he continued to exert minor influence behind the scenes. However, as the years went on, his grip on power continued to loosen. Finally, in the early 2000s, Ne Win was placed under house arrest. The man who had once held an entire nation in his grasp was now confined to his home, his power a distant memory. He would remain under house arrest until his death in 2002, marking the end of a chapter in Burma's history that would not be easily forgotten. In the face of overwhelming public discontent, Ne Win's era came to a close, but the story of his rule and the market left on Burma continues to resonate even today. It's a stark reminder of the power of the people to effect change and the inevitable fall of those who resist it. In the annals of history, Ne Win's rule is a chapter filled with controversy and debate. Ne Win, the military commander and politician who reigned supreme over Burma for nearly three decades, left a legacy that continues to shape the country's narrative. His rule, characterized by isolationism, one-party rule and economic stagnation, has left indelible marks on Burma's political and economic landscape. Ne Win's establishment of Burma as a one-party socialist state under the Burmese way to socialism ideology was a defining moment for the country. His overthrowing of the Democratic Union Parliament of Yunu in the 1962 Burmese coup d'etat ushered in an era of socialist policies that significantly influenced Burma's socio-economic fabric. However, his rule wasn't without its share of controversies. His policies led to economic stagnation, with the country's growth lagging behind its neighbours. His isolationist foreign policy distanced Burma from global economic and political developments, leaving the country in a state of self-imposed seclusion. 
Ne Win's legacy isn't confined to his policies alone. His rule saw a strict neutralist policy during the Cold War, with Burma participating in the non-aligned movement and keeping a distance from both the United States and the Soviet Union. His relations with Mao Zedong and the People's Republic of China were initially excellent, but were temporarily strained due to Mao's covert support for the communist insurgency within Burma. However, relations were fully restored in March 1971, and Chinese economic aid continued. Despite his controversial rule, Ne Win's influence on Burma's political history is undeniable. He was a central figure in one of the most transformative periods in the country's history, shaping its political, economic and foreign policies in ways that continue to reverberate today. As we reflect on Ne Win's legacy, we are reminded of the profound impact one man can have on the destiny of a nation.